Welcome back to more Super Mario Maker 100 Mario Challenge. It is time to step it up to normal mode here. And let's have we got 16 stages to get through. Well, shouldn't be too much of a problem. These, stage are, these stages are supposed to be of average or normal difficulty. How hard could they be? Let's find out. Of course. <laughs> you get kidnapped by something with no arms. Good lord. Yeah, here we go again. More random levels from other players. Ruh row. Alright. See what this is all about. Oh, Ruh row is right. right. That's kind of scary. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Oh, that's even scarier. I can get around that. It's not a problem. What do we got in here? Is this a secret? It's a bad secret. We don't want that. We do not want that. We want to go the safe route. You never know what to expect. Oh, goodness. <laughs> you know what? I don't even care. I'll take the hit. <laughs> Just finish the level. Don't even care. Like I was saying, you don't really know what to expect from other people, you know. Nintendo can make their stages pretty clever and tricky sometimes, too, yeah, but the professional game developers here, most, are, most people are just amateurs. You don't know what you're getting. Okay, not going that way. This, this makes something. Looks like... Looks like Yoshi. Yoshi's outline. Looks like Yoshi laying an egg. Alright. There's a mystery mushroom in there. I don't, uh... I don't really care to get it. Okay, look. Well, works for me. I'm not sure how this stage falls under the normal difficulty category. It's just... <laughs> swim to the goal. Okay. It seems like some people create levels just to show off their little block or pixelated art. Which is fine, I guess. But there's nothing else to them. Another Japanese person. And a swim level, too. Alright, at least we got a star. Just plow through these enemies effortlessly. Mushroom. Let's do it. Let's go. And I can't progress. Well, I guess I'm forced to be small. I did see a pipe back here. I want to check out that pipe. I wonder if it goes anywhere. It probably won't, but it's okay. I need to take a hit anyway. Nope, I can't enter the pipe. Alright, Goombas. I can take it. What's the point of that mushroom if I can't progress? Some level design choices just really, really baffle me. Ooh, there's spikes on the bottom. I gotta be careful. Well, I'm not touching the top of that flagpole, it seems. His goal was to one-up block me, and he succeeded up there, but it doesn't matter. I got three lives worth anyway. Lakitu trouble. Lakitus can be trouble. They definitely rank among some of the more annoying Mario enemies. They're not the worst, but they're up there. Anyway. Well, no Lakitu so far. Am I gonna encounter some? I would think so. Uh, no. They're not showing up. I guess they quit. There's one. Are you gonna give me trouble? No, you gotta. That's a one up. It's. You're a nice like a two. You're not gonna give me any trouble. <laughs> like a two trouble. Oh, there's, there's your brother and sister and their whole family. You're gonna give me trouble? No, they're giving me nice stuff. Well, except that one. There's. There's one bad egg in the bunch. I want that star. I want the star. I want the star. I want the star. I want the star. 
Sorry, he was dead. Now I have a question block that's flashing. Oh gosh. So seizure inducing. Alright, well, th those Lakitus didn't give me too much trouble. Wasn't so bad. Again, I'm a little confused how these levels rank among the normal challenge. They're, they haven't really been challenging yet. Did I supposedly get harder as you go along? I don't know. That's. Whatever. Tinkering. Well, I'll tinker with your stage, too. He died. I see a lot of Super Mario Brothers and new Super Mario Brothers U theme stages. I don't see a whole lot of Super Mario Brothers 3 or Super Mario World stages yet. Now, those stages may come up later. You, you unlock those stages later when you, when you play with the course maker, so. The first thing you have unlocked is really just this theme. Think about that for a while, and you then you unlock new Super Mario Bros. U, so like I said, those are the two I see the most. I want the mushy room. I hope it touches me. Oh, I thought he was going to go off the cliff, but he came back. Didn't expect that. that they got some tricks. Tricks are happening. I thought he was going to make it up there. Yikes. Alright, well, you are tinkering. You're tinkering with my emotions. I thought this was going to be easy, but you really stepped up the challenge here. I got a lot of fire piranha plants to avoid. And flying piranhas. That's different. Oh, okay. You tinkered, well, I win. So there. Goodness, I gotta get my butt comfortable. Ugh. I'm sitting on the edge of this bed here. Ugh. It's killing me. I need a chair. I used to record in a recliner. I miss my recliner. I need my recliner back. Ugh. Mario 3 Forever. Well, that's good. I like Mario 3 theme. Super Mario Bros. 3 is my second favorite uh, three, uh, 2D Mario game. It's actually really cl a close second with Super Mario World. Super Mario World is my favorite 2D Mario game. But Mario 3, not far behind it. Whoa. Oh, they're not giving me a lot of time to work with, are they? Oh. My bad. <laughs> I will say this. The physics for Mario 3 and Mario World so far have been just a little bit different than the actual games themselves. And I have played the crap out of Mario 3 and Mario World. So these new physics are throwing me off just a little bit. They're just enough to kind of slip me up. Mario feels like a it controls a little slippier than I remember. But it's okay, I can adjust. But like I said, it's just enough to throw me off a bit. I will get used to it. I'll adjust. And I can say the same for uh, Super Mario Brothers. You bounce off Koopas much higher than you ever did in that game, and the controls feel a little better than the actual game. So that's good. The Super Mario Brothers controls are an improvement. New Super Mario Brothers U controls exactly how I remember. Those physics have not changed at all. But everything else is tweaked just a tad. Uh, ugh, that was a mean placement. This is this is bad. I gotta get out of here. That's bad. That's bad news over there. Well, he got me. He's the first to get me. So congr congratulations. You made me die. E I N. I don't know what that means. Probably the guy's initials. Uh, Bowser Jr. Okay. I'm a turtle in a clown car. There's a turtle here with me. I gotta get out of here. It's, I love it when people put their initials in stages. <clears throat> like their signature. This is mine! Well, I kind of want to find out what's in these other question blocks. I'm just curious. I can't help myself. I like hitting things. Over there. Anything? Well, a bad prize, but a good prize. Okay. 
Oh, this is, um, this is Dark Pit. Yeah, this is dark. Dark and brooding. What's in this one? Oh, come on, wait. If anything came out, it would just disintegrate it. I want to find out what's, what's in that one. There's a lot of enemy flashes around here. Good grief. Alright, Zero Suit Samus. This must be this guy's amiibo collection, I don't know. <laughs> not really not really a thematic stage, but decent platforming, I guess. Anything in this pipe? Nope. Okay. Well, I guess I'll finish this. Samus. Works for me. I will admit, though, I never had the chance to really play any Metroid games. Let's see, on... Super Smash Bros. Brawl and Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, I tried the sample or demos of Metroid, and a long time ago I rented the GameCube uh, version of, well, yeah, it was for GameCube, Metroid Prime, but that's really all the Metroid I've played. I don't know, I need to, maybe I need to dive into that series a little more. It does seem kind of interesting. With Metroid Prime, I'm not really into first-person shooters. But what I, but what little I did play that game, I'll admit I did enjoy. But I got stuck, so then I got frustrated and I stopped playing. And I never rented it again. Maybe I should give it another chance. Who knows? Maybe I'll wind up liking it. Let's see, I need this Koopa to respond again. I need to bring a kick him. I want to find out what's down here. All right. Another mystery mushroom. Oh, so this is what the level means by a Bowser. I am Bowser. Mario's got a Mario's got a severe identity crisis <laughs> in this game. Hey, so far these levels have been pretty gentle. I haven't really encountered much adversity. I'm surprised to see levels this easy on normal mode. I can't imagine what an expert might be like. Huh. It might get me. See, I might need that spring, I might not. You never know. Oh, I guess I'll go ahead and grab it. Oh, goodness. I see the Mario Brothers U theme a lot. I'm trying to think what I can talk about. I don't know. I bet I lost of words. I'm just enjoying playing Mario. I just, I'm in my element, and that's the end of the stage. Oh, there's got to be more to it than that. Come on. Come on, person. Anything over here? Yeah, there's some, there's some stuff. Another mushroom. Goomba? Oh, that's a bad decision. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to get the most out of your stage, man. Come on. Anything else over here? Any point in being over here whatsoever? Just a bunch of enemies. I'm trying to get the most out of your stage, but I'm not finding much to work with. No spring? Oh. Okay. I guess that's it. All right, again, I'm really surprised to see these kinds of stages here on normal mode. Oh, you know what? I don't even care. Let's talk a little about it. Just end. End it, end it, end it. Mario time! But whatever. I hope you're proud of your level. If he watches this video, he's gonna give me a dislike. <laughs> Am I there yet? This is taking a while. Oh, Pierre. Somebody made a level for somebody, I'm guessing. And they uploaded it. Now I'm playing it. It's no longer his or her level, it's mine. Well, I am going to play it. I'm gonna defile this level. You don't even know. Ooh, hey, brother. At least they're stepping up the challenge here. That's good. Ooh, homing bells. That's fun. Fun, fun, fun. And I love the wops. If you want to make me happy, add add some thwomps in your level. I do enjoy thwomps. They're some of my favorite Mario enemies. I don't know. It's just so satisfying to run under them in a void. I don't know why. I just I just like it. Can I jump over? Nope. Nope. Not going that way. Okay. 
Goobus is now climbing up there. I saw some letters up here. Let's see what that's all about. Hi. Or, I guess that's the guy's or girl's name. Pierre? Pierre? I, I can't pronounce it. It's a language I'm not familiar with. Pierre Hearts, so. Must be a boyfriend or girlfriend or something. <laughs> Ow, I did not see those spikes. That was mean. How mean of you. Well, that's kind of nice. This level has been uh, decent. This instead of the challenge here, I guess whoever made this, they made these level four, does play Mario games. That's nice. So hippity hoppity hippity and uh, I don't even know what I was doing there. <laughs> hey, I worked another twelve-hour shift today. I'm a, I'm allowed to have a derp moment. Uh, well, there's my first derpy death. First was an accident because I wasn't quite used to the physics. That one I have no excuse for. That was just a big derp. Yeah, well, I get up. I get up every morning at about four o'clock. Go to work. So I'm still running in a four o'clock in the morning brain. Makes it makes it difficult to do a commentary. I'll admit. Ah, my job. I work at a company called Stericycle. The job itself, I won't go into too much detail, but the job itself is not that bad. It's just the hours are killing me. And the location is far away too, so the drive takes its toll on my body. I'm exhausted, folks. I have enough energy to play Mario. Man, I'm telling you. My body is broken, bruised, and defeated. At least I still have my hands. Oh gosh, I'd be so depressed if I ever lost my arms or my hands. I could never play Mario again. I would much rather lose my legs. But okay. I'll just skip over it. Right. Piranhas? Spin, don't care. I couldn't see where I was. But I finished. That's a pretty good level. Good. That's pretty good. I'll give you that one. That's probably the one I enjoyed the most so far. That and the Mario 3 one. That was fun too. Oh goodness, it takes a longer time to get through normal mode. I didn't think it would take this long. Sheesh. What do you got for me? What do you got? What do you got? Nothing? 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 Anything? Nothing at all? Ooh, a mushroom. Okay, I'll take that. At least I can take a hit. What have we got? It seems a really popular thing to stack enemies. Ooh, what's in that? Anything in that? I can't reach it. I'll have to use the Koopa Poopa. Let's go. Nothing but disappointment. Any point for having the spring here? Nope. Okay, well. Hey, it's your level. Who am I to judge? I killed that platform. I better not look down. Whoa. Oh. Oh, goodness. Okay, you're really stepping it up now. I got a lot of fire to avoid. Just step down there. Where do I go now? Oh, I gotta make a blind leap of faith, I bet. Well, oh, shoot. I don't like blind leaps. I barely made it. It's one thing people need to work on. If you're gonna make a leap like that, give give some coins as a hint or something. I don't like making blind leaps. They stress me out. My world level. Does that mean it's Super Mario World? It does. Good. This is my favorite theme. I can tell I'm gonna like it already. You placed that flower pretty high. Got it. Okay, well. Oh, found a block. I need to go up. Don't. No. Not finding any other hidden blocks. No vine. Nothing. Anything? Anything at all? Nothing. Come on, that could be something. Oh. Uh, no? There, 
Here's done. hidden under these blocks? Nope, just death. Okay, if I had to guess, I'm probably gonna have to make a blind leap. Don't do this, folks. Don't make blind leaps. Come on. Give some kind of hint. An arrow, coins, enemy, something. Really not finding any hidden blocks, so it must be a leap. Well, let's go for it. Bit of as much speed as I can. Okay, that jump's not makeable, but I know what I have to do. I have to use that block to gain some height. All right. Again, don't, don't, don't do this, people. Don't make blind leaps. I don't like it. But, like, a, they're your levels, you make them how you want to, but I, I just find them kind of irritating. Let's see, I don't think I can run from here. I bet I can make that jump just... Yep, yeah, there we go. Okay. Before I can finish that sentence, I went for it. <laughs> um, that's not right, probably. I thought I saw another door down here to the right. Uh, Semi-blind leap. I don't like that. I guess that's what I have to do. Alright, I guess we'll go in here. Looks like I gotta avoid the spikes. Making it tricky on me, huh? It's alright. I see past all your tricks. I know all the tricks. This is safe. It's so scary. I hope there's more. Okay, good. There's ground down here. That's good. <laughs> oh, a feather. This is my favorite Mario power-up. The cape feather is my absolute favorite. I'm so glad it's here in Mario Maker. It's a welcome return. He didn't specify how high I needed to fly, so... Okay, oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. A lot of Bowser Juniors. <laughs> Well, at least I did it. Dang it. Darum, darum, darum. Well, but that was pretty good. I don't, I don't like the blind leaps, but that's a pretty good level. All right, I'll give you that one. That's pretty good. Gosh, I'm only on stage twelve. Oh, good lord, get Icarus. I only played the demo of Kid Icarus. Never actually played the whole game. Well, I guess it's a Kid Icarus theme level. I suppose. I want the Lakitu to come over here. I want his cloud. I want it. It's good. Got it. I'm still, I'm still pit. Actually, I want to go up top if I can. Oh, okay, well, so much for that. But say, in hindsight, I better go up and over since I'm in a cloud. Get that, and well, I'm not doing such a good job with sticking with the Kid Icarus theme. Okay, it's dead end. Nothing but death. Where the hell's the goal pole? Is that it? Well, it in. that was it. Okay. I wasn't pit for long, but I tried. Wasn't really clear what to do. Some stages you come across don't have very good guidance on what to do. You just have to wing it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sure, I'm thirsty right now. Could use some water. But I'll get through it. I can make it. I hope. Let's see, it's a. Uh, this appears to be a maze level. Well, it's apparent I'm going to need a super mushroom. Now, where can I find one? Oh, wouldn't I like to know? Let's go find it. Let's try here. I'll use some psychology. Where does he think the player will go versus where they want you to go? Oh, goodness. Guess that wasn't the right way. 
Another one though, can I go in any of these pipes? Is that the trick? Uh, nope, can't go in that one. I guess I can try up top. No oh, goodness, oh, that was close, oh sh shoot. Get those cat reflexes. Spiny out. Can I go in here? Nope. Can I go with the pipe? Nope. And I landed on the spiny. I was kind of banking on the fact I could go over the pipe. Nope. It's denied. Alright, so where have I not looked? There's a mushroom somewhere. I really hope it's not hidden in like some kind of obscure hidden block. Because that's going to be a pain in the ass to find. Come on, don't do that. You can make some really trolly levels that way. Go in there. Okay, there's the mushroom. It came out of that pipe. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright. <clears throat> I got this now. Alright. So now I just need to go back down and smash those blocks and move on to the next phase. Not as easy to jump on this when you're big. <laughs> Alright. Now what? What you got for me? I can take it. Dish it out. Uh, apparently the end of the level. Not much of a maze, but alright. I'll take it. Sure. Whatever. Maze stages can be kind of annoying. They have to be done right in a certain way, but it's hard to explain how to do them. Hmm. They can either be fun or they can be super annoying. That one was short. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. Well, there's my critique on it. I definitely don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. But, yeah. I'll tell you whether or not I enjoyed a level. Now, what? whose lives matter? I guess Italian plumbers. My lives matter. Well, actually, in this game, the lives don't matter that much. You trying to make a really deep statement here? Maybe he is. That's, that's pretty deep. Lives matter. Oh, gotcha. Blind leaping! Again, don't do that! For the love of God, stop making blind leaps, people! <laughs> stop it! Also, things I don't like, I don't like must get hit to pass sections. I don't like that. We had to force a hit to just to pass. I don't really care for that. Like, you must get hit. Don't do that. Nope. I'm a lonely Goomba who's invincible and who's apparently not going that way. Crap. Well, I used up most of that star. Oh goodness, that's. Oh goodness gracious me. That got a little cray cray. Yeah, I'm just gonna move on. That's good. it. Don't care. Just. I can take two hits, what do I care? What a lazy and climatic way to finish. <laughs> That's what she said. Ooh. So that was normal mode, huh? Okay. I came across a few decent stages, but for the most part I got... Oh, I'll just say, for the most part I got garbage here. Come <laughs> on. But a few, but a few were good. Oh, well. Life is like a box of chocolates in Super Mario Maker. You never know what you're gonna get, and that's a true statement. I, I liked Mario 3 Forever, that was good. I liked my world level, that was good too. Alright. A few of those others were pretty decent. Looks like Dr. Eggman. <laughs> Oh boy, I got twin raccoons. Timmy and Tommy. Awesome. Ooh, I unlocked expert mode. Next time, we're gonna step it up and be more challenging. Ooh, how exciting. I'll see you then, folks. You take care.